Nowadays, society came out of control about appearances. Everybody wants to look beautiful, talented, intelligent, but nothing else. Because everyone has an at least one social media account, and this account must have so many followers. Otherwise, that means you and your page are boring. So whatever you share, a photo of you or nature, a text you wrote, doesn't matter, it has to be in a perfect shape. And this is where society comes out of control. Perfect shape. Perfect shape is about everybody's nirvana. If you want to have so many followers and likes, then everything you share is have to be in the perfect shape. A good angle for a photo, good writing skills for a tweet that is limited with only 140 characters, an adventurous life for a famous blog, and blah blah blah. Shortly, if you randomly share a photo of yourself that is not so beautiful, then that means losing likes and followers. This is how the system works and everybody seems to be fascinated by it. You may say that there are also some advantages of social media too, and this is right. Social media is useful at some points, but people generally don't use it in this way. What I'm trying to say is, sitting in an uncomfortable shape, looking at the screen of a phone and liking every picture or tweet you see is not really beneficial, is it? Money for starving and ill people is collected easily via social media, but don't forget that. Money that is wasted for qualified funds and so many stuff that is not even so important is more than the collected one. So even the good ways of social media doesn't make a big deal. In addition, social media makes people fake who they really are to look cooler or lovelier because social media is a place where appearance is more important than the actual. Since people can see our real personalities through the screens. For instance, while things that improve us are more important, people care about looking intellectual, not being. People take a photo of a famous book and then share it via social media, but they don't read it. For instance, while things that improve us are more important, people care about looking intellectual, not being. Taking a famous book's photo and then putting it on social media is more important than reading it. Going to holiday, to abroad, is not for learning the new cultures and history. It is for showing off our friends. Going to beach is not for relaxing our minds or our bodies. It is for taking cool photos and then putting them on social media. It's almost like the likes we get from our followers define us. This isn't right. People should read books, take photos, go on holidays just because they want to. People should be intellectual, not looking like intellectual. Hobbies are not something that we can use to have followers. It is something that makes us feel happy and help us having a good free time. So far I tried to explain what is social media about and why it is not really significant. I haven't come, I haven't came to the part where everything gets more hideous, unfortunately. What I'm trying to say is, if perfect shape is so important for social media followers, then think, how would people react if a photo or something else you post is not in a perfect shape? Just try to imagine. People will start to bully on social media in real life. They will look at the one in a bad way who shared it and they will message bad things like he or she made an awful thing. And this leads people to various things like suicide, depression, eating disorders, assorted psychological problems or makeup, photoshop, plastic surgery and medicines and so many things that I cannot count. When people become psychopath about looks, they bully another people and they bully themselves too. For example, when a person is trying to lose weight, but when they can't do it with a diet or sport, then that person look for another solutions, such as spewing out what he or she eat or using some drugs that are actually awful for health. 
This kind of horrible acts might lead to some kind of um, illnesses like anorexia, heart attack or worse. There are so many events that were concluded with death. And social media share about the things I said is not little. It actually creates a brand new way for bullying, which is called cyberbullying. People should stop this appearance war on social media in real life. There are so many things to worry about, like real wars with guns, poverty, drought, global warming. And this shouldn't be a thing to lose people because of the effect it makes, bullying.